what is going on it is mark here welcome back to some more road to mgb or road to nuke series we are in episode number seven before we get started i don't want any hate at all for using an mw2 gun in this game because i swore up and down i would not allow myself to ever ever use it because it was just something I was very much against. We're in MW3, I want to use MW3 weapons. So this is actually the first and only time I've done it. And uh, I gotta say, <laughs> the attack still slaps. And I know that within the Season 1 update, they buffed uh, some of the MW2 weapons. So, I may have to just be a liar because I, <laughs> I honestly could see myself going back to try out some of the MW2 weapons in this game. And we're in here on Karachi, which is honestly one of my favorite maps to play within the new MW3. Um, it wasn't back in the day. I think Skid Road was hands down like my MW2 favorite, OG MW2 favorite. But uh, Karachi is up there for me. I don't know, it just plays so good. And I think with the new movement system, it's easier to traverse around the map and it's a lot faster and it's always something that I will vote for if I see it on the screen. But, that being said, I kind of want to go over today and talk about just like how much of a whole package MW3 is and how the grind for camos and all that is and how much I'm enjoying this. Because after we've had the game for a little over a month and Season 1 is officially out, has been out for a couple days or about a week, um, there is so much. So first off, I want to start off with uh, Warzone, and that is something I have not played since. I played Caldera a little bit, did not play Warzone 2, and I don't get all the name changes with it. Um, so that was not something that I have dived into too much, and I don't ever really see myself uh, going back into Warzone. Um, I will play it with like a party of people and like doing it for fun but it's not something that I see myself playing religiously I'm more of a multiplayer and zombie guy and uh, that goes for campaign too though I haven't touched a campaign since BO3 and when I did the BO3 campaign I beat it on the very last day before the next COD came out What whichever one was after that I can't even remember but <laughs> this game is a whole package I mean you got your campaign which was hated on and uh, Call of Duty should honestly just stop doing that and put their focus everywhere else. But if you take that out of the equation, you got a solid multiplayer with uh, nostalgic maps, um, great guns, and the kill streaks are kind of meh. I wish they'd just honestly bring back either a, a nuke that is a kill streak that is not just like a hidden kill streak that is 25 kills instead of 30. I think they should bring back. <laughs> bring it back to 25 because 30 is kind of ridiculous especially with SBM uh, SBM MM that they haven't implemented nowadays um, but and then they have zombies as well and uh, I'm a big I've been playing a lot of zombies lately so first with me when I played this game I straight day one went for the camo grind and got it completed probably within about two weeks of the game being out and with days played on the game I think it was four four days actual played for the camo and that was with me screw, screwing around a little bit too um the grind itself uh I like the way it was compared to other games I mean it's doable for the more casual player and the people with jobs and um, other stuff to do on a day-to-day -day basis so that makes it nice um, I do wish on top of that though I know there had been talks that, that they wanted to do like a super mastery camo of some sort if like you did the MW2 grind and the MW3 then there would be another camo to do that if you did both the camo grinds or something along the lines of if you did the zombies and multiplayer then there's something on top of that I think that'd be cool if someone was into just like grinding camos out uh, really hard because while I am enjoying zombies and doing all the missions that they have going on over there I don't seem unless I get like super 
freaking bored for some reason. I don't see myself going for the zombie one, but having that like extra layer and reason to play would be nice. But I think they've done such a great job um, at keeping me interested so far. Because um, I remember there's been several points in the last several years where I have jumped off of COD and the excitement with new CODs after just being, I burned myself out pretty much. Um, I started the Camo Grind MW2. Uh, you can see what camo I have right here, and I can't even remember what they're called anymore. But I got to the one that was equivalent to the priceless camo, and then I never got the dark matter equivalent or whatever it is. I just got burnt out on it. But this kept me entertained. Like, the challenges weren't too, like, hard. Some of them were a little tedious and kind of annoying, but I mean, a lot of them were like 25 kills with whatever, use whatever, was like the max. It was like, okay, 25 kills is doable. So I really do like the camel grind, and there was only 36 weapons, and I looked at the MW2 ones compared to like 51, 52 weapons you had to do. Like, that is a huge difference, and especially when you don't enjoy a certain weapon class. Like, the assault rifles and LMGs to me feel great. Honestly, I think I had more fun using LMGs in this game than I have any other weapon type. Um, and I like to use SMGs a lot too, and they just feel super underwhelming. But I, I don't. I know there's buffs coming and stuff like that, so that that will be fixed very shortly. But multiplayer has kept me very interested with the armory unlock. I know a lot of people don't like it, and I'm not in favor or against it. I mean, it is what it is. It's a new feature, and that's kind of where I am with the like. Yeah, it is what it is, and uh, but it gives you a reason to play, and I think that is where a lot of games struggles keep you kind of entertained and give you stuff to do. Um, I do wish, and I found this out the other day, that there is leaderboards to track like win streaks and to track your like global stats, and I can't remember. I want to say no, but I don't think every game has had this in a long time, uh, right at launch at least. So it is kind of hidden. You have to go into like your stats and like actually go look for it. But you can actually see all that per game mode and per wins and all that. It's not just on your like player uh, profile or whatever. So that is nice to know it's there. And you can actually see your win streak, which is something that I've been trying to, uh, we've been trying to do and get our win streak as high as possible. But it's so freaking impossible. It's like so hard to play. But it's kind of nice as a challenge. And I don't mind, and this is kind of a, hot take is it's very opinionated and not a lot of people agree with it but I don't mind the multiplayer lobbies that I get in half the time a lot of them are sweaty and a lot of them are not so great but um, I mean that's how you get better more or less and I know a lot of people don't like that but I mean you play one bad match and you get into a good one and kind of goes back and forth but I mean, if you're going for wins and stuff, I mean, we don't take it a whole lot too seriously. Maybe that's kind of the whole point. I mean, we do try ourselves, and I find myself having to switch back to, like, an MCW or horror class half the time to try and compete. But, I mean, it's, I don't know. I have had a good experience so far and can see myself playing this throughout the pretty much the remainder of the life cycle. Multiplayer for me so far has been great and I'm ready for rank play because I'm going to grind that out like there's just so many different options that this game as an entertainment package is good and people calling it like a DLC for $70 is kind of outrageous to me because there's so much to do to cater to so many different playing types that uh, you can find your niche in it very easily and you can honestly get lost um, and for zombies just really quick to touch bases uh, Zombies is really great. A lot of people hated on it because they didn't have their round based right off the bat. But as they turned to play it more and more, um, there's a lot more freedom and a lot more complexity to it. And it is very nice to see. I'm just curious to see how they keep up to date with it, with it being on one map. Unless they start bringing in new maps or new open world something to it. Because I, uh, if it stays the same, they just keep doing different acts within the same like Warzone map. Then I can see people getting burnt out on it pretty quick. Um, but Zombies just kept me very entertained. Gives me something else to grind for. I mean, I'm trying to do it all before Rank comes out. So 
we'll see. I'm just honestly curious and kind of keeping an open mind on how the future seasons will hold for that. But, I mean, it is what it is. But multiplayer and zombies for me are are holding down my appetite for it. And I'm curious to see on where it goes in the future. But I don't know. I just want to know what you guys think. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.